Have I ever told you I want to be a train conductor? Like an old timey one. Hello everybody, welcome to Breaking Your Make. I'm your host, Joan. Today we're gonna do this. We are going to upsize our thrift find, but this time we're gonna do pants. I'm gonna show you how to put in panels in the side of your pants to make them bigger for you if they are too small. Warning, if the pants are more than like 10 inches too big for you, I would approach with caution. However, I wanted to have train pants. So these pants needed a total of 12 inches. I still did it. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it. If I measure the seam allowance correctly, I can get about an inch per seam in these pants to let out because there's so much seam allowance. That's great, but that means that I'm gonna have to sit here and unpick for a whole bunch. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All my seams are open. I gained about two inches at the center back, which is really awesome. Um, I will need to cut through the waistband to open up the side fully. So according to my math, I'm going to need to add 10 inches total to the circumference of the these pants. That means I can do two five inch panels along the side. I'm not going to do straight up and down panels because I like how the bottom of the pants fit. So they're going to be five inches at the top and then they're kind of come down to about an inch at the bottom just so I have seam allowance and they, they come to a, it comes to a V on the outside. I've got my fabric all laid out. What I'm going to do now is mark out the shape that I want plus seam allowance so then I can cut it out and then sew it into my pants. I like to mark everything for patterns on the inside of the fabric um, because then if you make a mistake in your markings, it's not gonna show on the outside. There's just legs everywhere. Okay, I'm flipping everything inside out so I can then pin my fun little pieces in, right sides together. If this fabric is too thin and it doesn't work how I want it to work, then I can totally go ahead and interface it. Um, I would take it out, interface it, and then stick it back in. Or I could double up. I can do two layers of fabric instead of just one layer of fabric. I'm gonna pin both sides, I'm gonna sew it, and then I'm gonna try it on. My railroad dreams are coming true. Because this insert shape is kind of like a V. I'm gonna do it like a gusset. So I'm gonna sew it like a gusset. That means I'm gonna start at the widest part of the V, the legs, and then I'm gonna sew from one side down to the point. Then I'm gonna come back to the top and sew one side down to the point. It just makes smoother, nicer, finish. I've got my insert sewn into my side seam. I need to make the waistband to um, fill in these gaps that I've made. So I'm going to get some fabric, cut it to size, and then interface it. And then I can sew it back together and then sew it into place. But I've got three places to put these waistband extensions. I've got my waistband piece all set up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it long and cut it as I need it and go on to the next one. I've already pre-folded it so I can set it in kind of nice and tricky. I'll show you what I mean. I finished putting the side panels in. I tried it on. It was a little too big still. Um, so I'm gonna take in each side seam by a quarter inch. I tried them on, it fits a lot better. I am going to baste the waistband into place because I want to do some um, more finishing techniques on the inside. So if you follow me at Break Remake, I will show you some behind the scenes or BTS as the kids say. And they're done! I should probably make myself a hat to go with it um, so I can live my train conductor dream. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eco-friendly DIYs. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, am I still recording? I, swear, I totally am still recording. Just having fun, cutting fabric.